Hello folks, welcome back to Ravage, and this time I've set up what is kind of a test case. It's much different, I suppose, in some ways than I normally would play Ravage. Uh, oh, let me turn my... this on. But anyways, I'm on the Proving Grounds terrain, which is not... not very big. Oh, and as you probably are hearing, I turned my Ravage ambient music back on. Um, but in this case, I, I'm starting off kind of in the corner of the, of the map, and I've basically got a base with everything I could want. But I turn the... Uh, let, so normally I play with a zombie count of, well, you know, 60 to up to 100 sometimes, at least these days. And so this time I set the zombie count to 500. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure what that's going to be like. The Proving Grounds is a little bit barren, so I went around in the editor and dropped a ton of like uh, ruins and stuff all over the place so there should be plenty of zombie spawns now there's not going to be a lot of places probably unless it ambiently spawns in furniture for me to loot for me to actually get stuff but I have tons of stuff here at the base tons of stuff way too much stuff actually uh, so I'm gonna, just gonna take some food and water with me I don't have space for a lot because I have a ton of ammo on me. I'll take matches and a few things to make fire. Uh, let me just purify this water real fast. Ooh, why do I have earplugs? Oh, because I have a I have an LMG, right? So I have a UK-59, which is a cup weapon, and it's not really the best weapon, but I think it's awesome looking. So I decided to bring it. I have no pistol. Uh, instead, I have a flashlight. Which, how do I use this? Oh yeah, duh, L. And that's my secondary. And I have this badass truck that's got uh, a bunch of stuff in it. Including a M4 with all the things I should need for using using night vision. And a bunch of boxes. I got grenades, first aid kits, toolkits. I got all sorts of stuff here. It's ridiculous. And of course, it's very, very dark. Snowing, foggy as hell. And I have this night vision. Uh, which isn't the best. I have a bunch of flares and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go out and uh, drive around until I come across something, basically. And uh, see what happens. See what uh, the deal is with these zombies. I'm curious to see if they even uh, spawn properly. guess we'll see. This truck is pretty awesome. So where am I? The road's right up ahead. I kind of just follow the road up, I guess, for now. And I'm playing on single player, so, um, yeah, if I die, I can't respawn. But, uh, if I die real early, I'll probably just restart. Now, I just love this atmosphere. This is so cool, looking with the snow and the fog. And I put lights in lots of the different places, just to give it a, oh, zombies are spawning in, I reckon. I put lights and stuff around just to give uh, a little bit of illumination in different places. Uh, oh man, they're really spawning in. I hope it doesn't like destroy my computer or something. <laughs> Having so many zombies. This looks like a little camp. Oh my god. Oh man, not cool. I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. Holy shit. Okay. Um... No! Why did you get out? Look at all these zombies. Oh man, I should have put my earplugs in. Sorry about the ringing, but Ace is on. This is ridiculous. I should not have put so many zombies. Oh my god, I didn't expect them to be so many in one place. Oh my god, my frame rate's dying. Well, 
I did say it was a test case. Now you see what I mean? That was absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe how many zombies I just saw when I rolled up. I'm used to it not spawning all the zombies that are possible all at once. That's I thought maybe I'd get, you know, a decent amount more, but not that many more. I can't get out of my truck now. Just aim a little lower. This is ridiculous. I need to back up or something. I just barely can't hit him. Oh. Maybe I can. I think I my character is going deaf. tell if I'm hitting him in the head or not. I can hit him when they come back here. Shit. I wish I could throw a flare from where I was sitting right now. I want to get out of the truck. But I don't. Sorry, but this is ridiculous. I'm just gonna wait till they go in front of it. I guess. Some of them aren't even gonna do that. I'm gonna have to run over a bunch of them, I think. Oh man, the ringing is really getting to me. Okay, go to the driver's seat. The ringing will stop. Oh my fucking god. Pardon my French, but you're crying out loud. I reckon the frame rates aren't going to be very good this entire time. Look at all these corpses. Now stay there. Oh man, they're hitting me. Somehow. Or my character's going into shock or something. I'm not sure what's going on. Are my ears bleeding? What's happening? Get out of the truck. wounded somehow. I think I may have caused irreparable ear damage. It is an LMG, but it only has 50 rounds per box. I'm sorry, but this is too cool of an opportunity to take a screenshot. It would have been cooler if I'd taken it when there was more. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken this LMG. Although, with all these zombies, it looks like I needed it. It's killing my ears. This is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna run around until my ears calm down for a minute. That was crazy, man. I didn't expect them. To, they're all huddled around that camp. I really didn't expect that. I wish I could turn the ringing off. I wish there was a... As much as I love Ace, that's just a little much. Still gonna have to make it. Now it's just getting worse. I'd rather if he just went deaf, honestly, at this point. Oh, fuck. Oh, and I should put a corpse cleanup utility on. That would have been a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh... Stop firing this. As soon as I kill all these zombies, I'm gonna have to get rid of this gun. It's destroying my hearing IRL. Jeez, man. I didn't even hear that zombie attacking me. Okay. Well. That was really, really short. But, uh, it's okay. I'm going to go into the editor and tweak a few things. Such as turning the zombie to count down just a little bit. And then I'll restart this. And we'll, we'll go back out. Okay, so... Let me just go grab some food again. I just picked up the M4 that was in the uh, truck and put uh, the UK-59 away. That was a little much. Let me just do this. So I went into the editor and I cut the zombie count from what I had in half. Which is still 250, so that's still a lot. But it should be a little bit more manageable. Uh, yeah. I'm going to grab a bunch of more magazines for this and throw them in the truck. Let's see which one of these is the uh, ammo. And I'm still just going to keep a flashlight in for my secondary and just keep regular ammo. Uh, what is it I have? M55. Actually, I don't need to drop it in the truck. I'll just keep it on me, I guess. My stamina is going to hate me. But anyways... <laughs> well, pretend that first part was just some nightmare that my little character here had before he went out. That was pretty entertaining, but my god, it was too laggy. Alright. Oh, let's go back out. It's still going to be a lot, but this time I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. I just really love how this looks with the snow and the fog on this wasteland looking map. I wish Proving Grounds would have been bigger. I really like how it looks. It's really bleak. And is there still 10,000 of them over there? I'm not going to get up and fire the big gun. I just want to see. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, I'm curious about the ruins a little bit. They spawn things. There's some other types. This is a. These are all simple types of ruins here. So they might not have anything. You can see off in distance. There's some actual house types. I'm curious if they spawn loot and stuff. And I'm just gonna flare this area up because I know that zombies are on their way. See if there's anywhere I can get up to. 39 mags plus what I have. And look at them all. Vultures. Uh, if 
few frags. Ow! I forgot that there's fragmentation. With Ace. That was a stupid mistake. I'm wondering if they're gonna come up this stair. I don't see why they wouldn't, I guess. Actually, they're all kind of just... They seem confused about where I am. Oh, maybe they don't. Oh, man. And I can't shoot. Keep stopping. Maybe it's because this isn't supposed to be here. Oh man, they are going to come up here, shit. Okay, get out of here while well, I still can. The, uh, the, oops, the snow module I'm using, it's actually in, in the module section, it's under logic entities, and you only get it if you have the, uh, the Arma 2 Thirsk map terrain. And the fog one that comes with it kind of is a little buggy sometimes, so the whole changing weirdness you're seeing is from that. Probably because it's ported from Arma 2, but, oh crap. But it's still really cool looking. There's a few buildings on the terrain that um, are actually from the terrain that I'm going to check out and see if they spawn anything that I can loot. But loot really isn't the thing here, it's just there's hostiles too. AI that is. Oh my god. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have their hands full of zombies. Yeah, the objective is just to go around and kill things basically until you die. I also want to see all the cool scenes like this. I set it up to be pretty creepy looking. Probably gonna have to make regular trips back to my base to get ammo and stuff. Oh fuck. health kits apparently. That is just really cool looking. Just love that. In fact, let me get a screenshot. Zombies or no zombies? Fuck. Okay, move away. I'm already gonna have to go back and grab some first aid kits. If this is how often I'm gonna get hit, I probably only have one left or Confused. We have them on the run. Or not. I 
I missed the Ravage music. I'm not sure why. I, t I think I turned it off because it was always doing copyright strikes. But then I remembered, I use copyrighted music all the time in my videos. What the hell does it matter? Until I start, if I ever end up actually trying to make money off YouTube, which is unlikely, then I'll worry about that shit. Until then, whatever. The music really adds to it. Or maybe I turned it off because I was started talking when I was playing, but uh, I don't see why I need to turn it off. That one's just standing there. I think I've almost got all of them. cleared out this particular area. Uh, where am I? Let me just say that I've been here. I think there's probably a zombie or two still around. But I'm going to go back to base here. It should be on that respawn marker. But I'm not playing on multiplayer anyway, so respawn is Useful. Oh, there is one. Whatever. <laughs> I've been here. It's okay. I've actually used Proving Grounds a good amount of times in the past. I think I had an Outbreak mission video on here, and then I've done a few like single player skirmish missions. It's good for those. I think one of the first videos I ever put music on the intro of was a one on Proving Grounds. There was that one, and then... Oh, what? This is a blacklist area! There's not supposed to be zombies at my base. You know what? Let's plow through them. Stop, get out. They're not supposed to be here. Just plain and simple. They seem to be a little confused here, which is good. Sons of bitches. It's like sometimes armor is just ridiculous. Get off. I don't want to get to my stuff, I'm gonna have to kill them all. Climbing up the towers. I think that one's dead, isn't it? Yeah, in a strange fashion. Oops. They're just everywhere. Get off my lawn.
Yeah, this is a this is a zombie blacklist area. That's it shouldn't be here. I'm not sure why that happened. Let's get rid of them. Get rid of the rest of them, I should say. I reckon they're gonna probably be all over the place. Oops. Double oops. Probably in the house. I know they're back here. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I wonder if this kind of stuff... Oh, yeah. So stuff I spawn in from searches will actually... Or from uh, compositions. Or just anything like this that I put in place will work, too. That's good to know. This entire base was one composition. Uh, I just dropped it. Same with those underground bunkers and that rock formation which is why it's kind of funky looking I didn't handcraft it let's get them out of here these are storage there's nothing else but that I'm gonna try and get a weapon with a bigger magazine. I'm just gonna try and get one that I can actually drop a laser sight on. Didn't even search my own base. Actually, didn't expect this much detail though. That's why I didn't search it. Usually, when you drop composition camps and stuff they're huge, just buildings but I don't know I think I other than these ones that are up in my tower I might be okay to get some stuff or not don't walk in front of my truck Now they're coming back down. Oh shit. <laughs> they're like, what? Faces. Never thought I'd be fighting a bunch of zombies in my base, honestly. But I see now there's holes in the walls. If I'd spent as much time dropping as dropping ruins as I, if, uh, if I would have spent as much time as dropping ruins as checking my base, maybe I would have noticed there's holes in the walls.
don't think I've ever shot this much in a Ravage scenario. In the entire thing. <laughs> that is why I made this one. I, I'm recording this one the same day as I record. I recorded the, uh, I, probably the the previous one I posted, which would have been the Tad when I was on Taviana. So it's kind of late at night, and I was like, oh, I still feel like playing Arma, but I don't want to play for five hours. You know what, let me... hold on. There we go. Let that be a little more prevalent. Sounds like they added some new music, actually. Okay, I just want these zombies to fuck off so I can... ...get some other things. I think the, the other ones are stuck up there. So, actually, I don't know if I even have first aid kits out here. I think there's a few in the truck. I might have to actually drop an ambulance on the map or something. And there's a flashlight for a gun. I already have a flashlight, what am I thinking? Um, let's drop this gun. I think I'm safe to do this. I think. This truck looks like it can hold quite a bit. So I got a bunch of options here. Uh, I was thinking about an FAL because the uh, what's his face, FALs, the OSWs I think can hold get 50 round mags. Yeah, OSW with a grenade launcher. Nah, no, just regular one. Oh, what is it? Four, four. No thanks. No thanks. Two. No, let's put in. I can't put the CCO I had on it, so let's put an ACO on it. Uh, yeah, there we go. These are probably really heavy, though. Oh, yeah, they are. In fact, all foul magazines are heavy. I'll take two of them, whatever. Uh, EPR. I'll drop... <coughs> excuse me, I'll drop some of my vehicle. The only thing I didn't think about, actually, is whether or not this thing can have a laser sight on it. I might have to open the arsenal to, uh, in fact, oh fuck, I'm gonna drop this too. Or not. There. Uh, I'm just gonna drop FAL magazines in the truck. If I remember, I'll cut here. I don't want this to be all inventory fuckery. Okay, so I've actually set it up my FAL here. I didn't realize I could put an aim point, or a suppressor, or a laser on this sucker. And it's got a drum mag in it at the moment. So I filled the truck up with a bunch of them. I'm just gonna go to a different area now that I've annihilated everything in my base. Just head further up the road, basically, until I see something that looks interesting. There's a fuel station uh, that's actually naturally on this terrain that I want to check out. Then there should be a barn area also. But I'll go to the fuel station first. It's just basically a few bridges up. This terrain has some really cool, um, like, dry riverbeds that are really good for, like, making, like, trench battles. 
I think this one, it lives up to its name, because I remember one time where I set, like, 50 tanks per side and, like, made them all head to the middle and fight, and it was just crazy. And that was on this terrain. Pretty much most of the, the houses and buildings on this terrain I've put here. Okay, this is the place that's actually normally here. So I just want to check it. Flares. There's lots of garbage piles around. Oh, that sounds cool as a suppressor. Relieving not to have 5,000 zombies all here at once. Yeah, they definitely added some neat music. I remember there used to be only like two or three different ambient tracks that would play. That's good. And of course, I forgot I can search these vehicles. It's actually more than I thought that search on this terrain. Not that that necessarily means I'm going to find anything, but... This map is like a giant junkyard, I love it. Okay, it's not giant, it's like a junkyard. <laughs> not giant. Which is a shame. I wish it was a lot bigger. Not the smallest terrain I've ever played, but it's not very big. There's a nuke crater on it. I think this terrain originally came from the Arma 2 uh, private military company DLC. Or expansion, whatever you call them. Before they were all paid for. Although, actually, I think I bought that. Oh, I already checked this, didn't I? But yeah, I think that's where it came from. Can't remember what it was used for. These junk piles don't want me to search them for some reason. Not finding much of anything. Really nothing. Jeez. Not even, not even something useless. I may not have uh, set the ratios for loot right because I wasn't thinking about actually looting things. They're probably default. But I still should be finding some. Oh yay. Well, I don't have one of those. I guess I haven't shown my character yet, have I? It's nothing real special. Just a typical looking survivor. Same as always, basically. Wonder if this fuel station works. Not that I'm gonna need to refuel anytime soon. But I wonder if it does. Let's see. Oh, it does. Is that empty? Oh. It's not empty. I just haven't used any of it. Everything is empty. Holy crap, come on. There's a lot of vehicle wrecks. So many. I'm gonna go over there. What is going on? Interesting. Flare. 
some actual whoa weirdness happening. Whoa. I can't be like internet lagging here. I'm not online. Oh, this is, that's right, there's a bunch of castle ruins dropped on the terrain also. Probably not going to find anything useful there. They're just there to make the place look creepy. Oh, wow. There's actual bad guys somewhere. They're probably having the time of their lives killing zombies. Another thing I really like about Ace is now if you post up on something, like you can see my weapons mounted, I don't have to actually click the mount weapon key anymore. It just does it automatically. Okay, I'm still on the 50 rounders. I could go into the castle, I suppose, and see if I could find these guys. I honestly didn't expect to come across any. I mean, I guess I did. It's not a big terrain, so... Visibility's shit, so I'm probably... Oh, I see him, actually. I was about to say I probably won't even see him, but... side. Shit. Did they die? Are they running away? What's going on? Whoa. That was a weird shot. The singular zombie walking through the flare might say it all. I didn't... I think they might have died. If they did, it was fast. I don't hear any more shots. Oh, these zombies coming around from there. Really? I love how the zombies are like, ah, ah. guys died. Good luck finding them. All these zombie corpses around. I saw him running over this way. But then I saw a bunch of zombies coming back from over here. A flare. Oh yeah. One of them died. OD is probably better than gray. Some food. AK mags. Wow, he had a lot of AK mags. That's kind of weird. You don't usually see him with that much. Zombie. I thought there was two of them. I could have sworn I saw two of them. Look around here. Of 
corpses here. Unless one got lucky and ran off. Huh. I don't know. Okay, that's really cool looking. Wait. Wait for it. Many a good screenshot in conditions like this. Okay, I should probably head back to where I was, which was here. Nothing here but a castle. Done yet? Uh, spooky. Like when you look at things like this, it's just really cool looking. I love the, you can see it barely. I don't know if it'll show on YouTube. I'm not sure why that's flickering, but the hex pattern on the night vision is really, really cool. Check in the there too. In the there. In the supermarket thing. I think loot chances for industrial and military loot is lower by default than for like civilian stuff, which it might be why I'm not finding anything in these wrecks. Not that I really need loot, I'm just kind of testing here. Must have not affected the uh, the loot. What the hell? I'm definitely getting some weird kind of game lag for some reason. There's nothing in here. All right, so that farm thing I was talking about, where I'm also not sure there's gonna be anything there. Let's mark this. And that uh, castle was about here, right? Random. All right. Go somewhere else. I'm just gonna see about this other area on the map. Okay, so there's a road there that leads. I think this is the farm. So I turn around and I go left and follow it around and then take the first left, basically. As if I'm gonna be able to see this road really. Spooky looking, I love it. 
castle. One more place I gotta go back to sometime is Vostok. A wintertime Vostok. That's probably one of my favorite terrains. I keep forgetting about it. I had someone ask me what my favorite... I think it was... Was it Sergeant that asked me what my favorite... Ravage terrain was? I can't remember, honestly. Sorry. But, uh... I forgot about saying Vostok Winter. It's really one of my favorite Arma terrains. I have this mission that I have an idea to remake for Arma 3. I had it on Arma 2 where it was like a kind of like an escape and evade mission but on there it was against Russians but on here it's, I'll have an easier time making it because I can just put a ton of hostile AI with the Ravage mod and then I can put some zombies like maybe like just a few and have them be runners or something and you start off on this little island off the coast and you only have enough fuel to get just across the water to the main island and then you basically have to escape on foot out across the main island and then over the water to another island. Of course in my Armor 2 version it was you had to get out of there immediately because there was Russians moving in and then you had enough fuel to get to another island but there was uh, tons of Russian anti aircraft stuff and shilkas and stuff so you basically were guaranteed to get shot down. And then I had to escape and evade in the dark with Russian patrols everywhere. It was really fun. I think I have a video of it somewhere. I think I edited edited it too much, though. I ended up making it a little too short. But it was so fun to play. I probably actually played through it like 20 times. But yeah, I have an idea for making something like that on here. Which could be a lot more fun. Especially now with this night vision mod. And the fact that it's much easier for me to have AI kind of just spawn in uh, naturally, ambiently, because of Ravage. I mean, they won't be Russians, but it'll be like a zombie thing kind of. Anyways, rambling. It happens when I start recording late at night. I just kind of ramble sometimes. This is so cool. Okay. Can't help it. Cool screenshot. Oh, it's actually cooler like that. Alright. Yeah, I was curious if there was anything actually in this place, just for future reference. I mean, vehicle wrecks are obvious, but I would have had to have tweaked with the loot settings a little better. There's actually quite a few things to loot on this train if you look at it like that, if you count vehicle wrecks. Because there's a ton of them just naturally. Like, I only placed a couple of vehicle wrecks. Now this is a spooky shot. So is that, actually. Everything's spooky. What am I talking about? I don't think I placed anything on the other than that truck. I don't think there's any boxes with med kids. Just keep coming. Oh, God. 
Oh, I jammed. Right. Shit, hold on. I gotta get away for a minute. I'm lucky I just did... I remembered that in the last video I jammed. Shift R. I saw someone say it on some video I was watching. Didn't actually look up how to unjam it. There we go. Jeez, just hit the motherfucker. Thank you. EPR. Uh, since it seems to be clear, let's repack. Haven't even gotten in these buildings yet to see if they have anything. Zombie concurs wherever he is. Okay, that's a really cool shot, too. Screenshot whore. right, this is the dead end part. Yeah, I don't think these places actually have anything useful. No furniture or anything. Since B-52 is not working, nothing's showing up on the floor. The uh, loot boxes work for the B-52 mod, but the actual loot on the ground does not, unfortunately. I guess it's only a 64-bit thing. Apparently. Alright, well, so there's nothing here. Now we know. I could take a, a like... I mean, I've kind of just started on this terrain. I was, I'm working on uh, populating it and cluttering it up with stuff, just because I love, it, like it so much. So probably in the future, I'll be able, to, I'll have a lot more done on it. This uh, little scenario is just the first time I dropped a character into it. Actually, that base too was just kind of on a whim. All right. So I've been here. Now I know there's a town I wanted to look at. I think it's over here somewhere. It had some, uh... Just trying to look at the bomb. The bomb crater's here. Don't want to drive through that. It has some buildings and stuff from Iron Front that I used. I just want to see what it looks like. See if they do have anything spawned in them. Should be okay going off-road. As long as I don't go too far left and drive into a, a bomb crater. It's so spooky driving with night vision on like this. Oh, ruins. Don't run those over. I guess we can stop here too. Oh, what did I run over? Other than a zombie. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Screenshot. Oh, I should have picked up more magazines, damn it.
way back over to the truck. Not real low, but I don't want to forget. Plus, refills any health that was a little bit low. These are buildings from. <laughs> that's creepy. These are buildings from uh, Kolgijev. Well, other armored two terrain terrains also. Well, of course, Kolgijev is from Flashpoint. There's another one of my favorites, Kolgijev. I really wish they would like remake that, but like not completely alter it like they did Malden. Which Malden, I, it's it's a good Malden's good. I know I complained about it at first because I thought it looked too much like Altus, but it's good. But I wish they'd update Kolgijev just with some newer graphics and keep basically everything original and just expand on it. Maybe make the towns. A I am okay here, so I've been recording for over an hour. I'm just going to go have a cigarette, and then we'll cut back in. Alrighty. Good to go. Alright, let's get back over to the truck. Mark this place. Dead and empty. was going was over there. Is this it, or is this something different? Eh. This is actually some of it. Yeah, these are iron front ruin buildings. Which are really cool looking. You know, they're set for World War II, but they work good with this terrain. Which means I don't know if they're conducive to anything spawning in them or anything. That kind of stuff I might have to put it myself, put in myself. The only thing is you don't want to go too nuts with adding items or it'll just really tank down your performance. They actually look like they're relatively well done. Even inside. The zombies are spawning off of them, so. I've really wanted to do a. I did one way back in the day, but it was kind of awkward. Uh, I really want to do a World War II kind of era zombie apocalypse again. But it's difficult 
I know there's a way to do it. I just need to find all the codes for the uniforms from the Iron Front and the Geist mod so that I can give the zombies uh, the uniforms so they look the part. And it's also, I'd have to turn um, vehicle spawns. I'd have to get the codes for the Iron Front vehicles and stuff and put them into the it would take a lot of tweaking, but I think if I worked on it for a while, I could get it to work. To be very World War II-ish. And there's, I have a lot of Iron Front terrains. I don't know if they would work with, spa, with uh, loot spawning. But we could see. There's another village over there. Castle over there. Yeah, I don't think these are going to have... Oh, excuse me. I don't think any of these are going to have anything, but they are cool looking. They make for a good ruined scene. Oh, I'm getting tired. Ugh. Probably not going to carry this on all night. Just uh, was a little test session, but I'm going to check a few more places at least. Alright, so we have been here. This is actually not what I was thinking it was. Uh, we'll just head towards those lights I saw. Zombies are still obviously spawning, but now they're not. Now I'm not getting hundreds of them at a time. That was just the initial shock, I think. Oh, these are iron front buildings, too. So there's just probably not going to be anything here, but. Flush it out, anyways. I bet you if I go back to my base, there's going to be a ton of zombies there again. What is this? Okay. been here. There's actually a lot more ruined places than I thought. You can see all the places I've been. Anyhow, I guess we can head up this direction, or out this direction. The base is just back there. There should be some stuff out there too.
Oh, this is that field. I've used this field before. Missions. That's right, here's the tree line, yeah. Bang. Bonk. Okay, these are the Arma 2 ruins area. This is this another place I want to check. I know ruin buildings aren't usually good for spawning loot and stuff because there's not any. At least for this version, because there's no furniture. I don't think there's any furniture. I gotta remember to keep the Ravage music on. I like having it on. helps with the atmosphere. The creepiness. Yeah. Another cool shot. Actually, is that a cabinet? Is it hell? No? Weird. Didn't really expect to find much in these places. They're all just kind of leaning. Because I just dropped him without checking if it was level. <laughs> that was kind of the point, though. I'm seeing like weird marks where furniture should be. See? Weird shadows on the wall. This kind of environment would be so fun to have like a gunfight in, like a full on gunfight. Alright, gonna go back to base, which means I need to go east back to the road and then south. Maps a little bit of an angle. At least the road is kind of diagonal through the terrain. Yeah, I'm definitely going to continue cluttering this terrain up a little bit, you know, within reason. And I'm sure I'm going to use the actual edited version of it for other stuff in the future. Online, or recorded or not recorded. There are some times where I am playing it, I don't feel like recording at all. I feel like I'm going to run into a wreck or something if this right. Nope. I'm going to be a little angry 
if my base is full of zombies again. Okay, not angry, just... There's some. There's some. So, this blacklist area is starting to confuse me. Because when I started off, there wasn't any here. Oh shit. Who the fuck is hitting me? Alright, let's clear up my base. Again. Is that zombie on the ground hitting me? I wonder if she fell out of the tower or something weird like that. Go prone. I think there's some up in the tower. Oh, let's go see. Does it have automatic? It does. Not sure how they get up here. I mean, they walk, but you know what I mean. What compels them to come up here? Are they on the roof? What the hell? Oh, here's some good shots. Okay. They're not up here. Interesting. I wonder what the hell I was hearing then. Oh, an hour and a half of recording and no memory leak. What the hell is happening? The world has gone mad. But, where is this guy? I keep hearing him. There you are, you son of a bitch. Get out of here. Anyhow, I'm done for tonight. I've been playing this a lot today, and... This was a fun little side trip from what I'd normally do. Oh, it's the air conditioner I'm hearing. Interesting. But anyways, we'll, uh, next time we'll do something else. Um, I still want, or I'm planning to continue on with a part two of Helvantis and Taviana in the future. But I've done those fairly recently, so it'll be something else next time. Uh, maybe I'll set it up. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.